When it comes to the young and the restless, every fan has their own opinion, and so pop is no different. For five days we sat and watched the good, the bad, and everything in between, and now we offer you a handy review, and a cheeky critique, of yours week that was, The Young and the Restless, a critic's week in review Ashlyn Locke, Richard Borgi, has six months to live, or does he? He was awful quick to let that little tidbit slip during his face off with Kyle, Michael Mueller, and Tara, Elizabeth Liner. Might the so-called evil businessman have something up his sleeve? And if he really is dying, could Y&R being gearing up to recreate one of its all-time greatest plots? It concerned a millionaire who learned that he was dying, and as a result, he planned his own grisly murder with plans to frame his wife's lover for the crime. If, Ashland really is the monster he was made out to be, and Lord knows that he has not lived up to the hype so far, this would be an excellent direction for the story to go, but then we'd have to say goodbye forever, to what very well could have been the show's next big power couple. We didn't know that we wanted to see Ashland and Victoria, Amelia Hiley, together, but now that, that the possibility has been teased, we're sure that we do. Further your amusings while the cat's away, will his wife cheat on him with their good friend? We're just saying that should the soap, go there with Devon, Bright and James, and Abby, Melissa Ordway, we wouldn't be too opposed. And hey, once a cheater, always a cheater, right? Please wake us when actual answers to the Who Killed Richard storyline is forthcoming, though, if what has come before is any indication, the climax and denouement will all take place off-screen and will be summarized in an off-handed manner during a convo between Amanda, Michelle Morgan, and Devon. We can excuse Moses, Jacob Aaron Gaines, in action when Nate, Sean Dominic, was suddenly stricken by a serious allergic reaction, but how in the world did the budding physician not know what an EpiPen was? That was just patently ridiculous. It was nice to hear Nikki, Melody Thomas Scott, admit that she can't take credit for how Victoria turned out, she was never a hands-on kind of parent. If anyone can take credit, it's Miguel. So, Nina shot David Kimball five times Webster does cross-stitch? Really? Couldn't she dream up gory ways to murder her film script characters or doodle drawings that would concern a therapist? The Young and the Restless, Your, airs weekdays on CBS. Check your local listings for airtimes. Adblock test, why?